It's abstract. Jazz. Take one half of the bench. I'm on my knees. How can you tell the black ones from the white when you, when you paint everything? That's a great question. I can't. Okay. I just rely on. You, you are everything on feeling. No, no, but on this, there should be one key each octave, the same color. Oh, yeah. The things besides music like um, amnesty and, and, and fair trade. And I was wondering what, what are the um, uh, causes at the moment that you feel worth supporting? Well, all, all the same ones really. We, we try to take more of a behind the scenes approach on things like that because we were very vocal about fair trade a few years ago so we felt like to just switch to another cause it would just seem a little bit like shallow so now we just put the things that we support in in our album cover and on our website and yeah. but it's all the usual things like you said amnesty and oxfam and things that most sane humans support also yeah. is that fair to say so, yeah but funny i three years ago i was in uh, shanghai and i saw something about fair trade and i immediately thought of you I had this in my drawer for three years for you. Oh, good. What is it? It's fair trade. Thank you. But it doesn't say what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Open it. It's, it's, a generic, can we open it? it's a generic fair trade thing. Yeah, you can open it. It's probably totally empty. It's fair trade air. <sighs> Oy, that's the good stuff. I read interviews from you guys, and there's always influences from bands or comparison to bands. But I, I personally like singer-songwriters very much too. And that's maybe because I'm a photographer and I find it easy to shoot one person yeah. and four. But I was wondering if there's any specific singer-songwriters that you guys listen to or, you know, admire. For me, I suppose Tom Waits and Nick Cave are two big, you know, people that I always go back to. Bob Dylan and Bruce Springsteen. And I would be obsessed with Bob Dylan as well. and. Uh, uh, Neil Young. There's a song called um, Stories of the Street by Leonard Cohen that I've been listening to a, a lot recently. I can't, I can't get that song out of my head. One of the key people who's responsible for us being a band is probably Jeff Buckley. Okay. I think, I think his music was so powerful and uh, like hard hitting mm. for most of us in you know the mid and late nineties. And that's when we were getting the band together, and I think we found, I certainly found a lot of uh, inspiration in it. I mean, to the point of trying to actually sound like him for the first few singles. Yeah. Um, so he would be, yeah. got to be mentioned. Right. Um, English heroes, do they have to be English? Well, yeah, I thought just, just you know, what, is, what comes from these islands. It doesn't have to be music. Well, course. you'd have to say Shakespeare and... Mm -hmm. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And and one of the great English things uh, for me of all time was Monty Python. And I was wondering if you guys are up for showing your best silly walk. Of course. Yeah. We have, we have some space here. We, we, can, we can try it out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. I'm into it. Nope. Right. We're across the wall. Yeah, I just wish way that way. However you feel it works best. You know. <laughs> Wait, I've got it. I like the sort of John Cleesian style. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Mine is only minimally silly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a simple <laughs> forward quarter rotation every third step. Occasionally. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> That's a beautiful one. Yeah. What I do find on the street is when you accidentally trip, 
Yeah. You try and make it look like, like, look like not right. accidental. Deliver yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What else do you want us to do? Uh, well, it's some graffiti. You can take any, you know, it's black and white, but you can take any colors you want. Uh, you can do it's it here. Black and white. <laughs> 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 Whatever right. you feel like. We'll do it. We're not going to suddenly. It can be very personal. I need Get to a new style. You have to, shake it, you have to shake it quite a bit, eh? you know that. What brought you um, to graffiti at the moment? Well, I think it's funny because it sort of started as an American thing, but everywhere we go, and we just, we just came from South Africa, there's graffiti all over the place, uh, Japan, you know, everywhere we go, Brazil, there's, if you look, if you start looking for street art, it's all over the place, and you realize it's the sort of sort of the voice of, not the voiceless, but it's people just expressing themselves often on quite ugly surfaces and turning them into beautiful colored, mm. you know, murals. Yeah. And so I think we, we just really loved the sort of freedom of expression. It's just we just res responded to the idea that you can paint anything yourself and you don't have to be a grand master. Graffiti has its critics, but Often it's, it's, uh, it changes something that's really drab and oppressive into something else. That's the idea of the record too, is to be trying to find color within, you know, darkness and depression and all, all the terrible things in the world is trying to find the light in there. Yeah. And that's, that's what I think a lot of graffiti does is put some light into darkness. What you said, uh, you went to see uh, bands in the Roundhouse, and that made me think of Madrid again, and, and the idea we have for the uh, event, which is based on, on circular stuff. Um, and I have some very small um, stage, stages with me. I thought maybe you can see how Let's you guys it. are going to be on that stage. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, There's different shapes, sizes, I mean. So I thought maybe you can show me, Chris, how, 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 you, would, how you would perform within a, within a circle. You know? Sure. And, uh, and we'll practice. And Will, We're rehearsing, and, right? And Johnny and, and Guy. Yes. Yeah, so. Right. Just to see, you know, it's, it's, it's slightly practicing and also for me to get a vibe going. Mm -hmm. That's probably me. Yeah. Oh, Jay, you need to talk to your... Uh... What song do you want us to play? <laughs> um, we'll play Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown, yeah. Okay. Go from... <laughs> <laughs> Go from... Yeah, okay. Uh, Will, will you bring us in on the riff? I will. <laughs> <One. laughs> so far, so good. Yeah. I don't think we have to rethink the concept. I think the concept works. Right. Yeah. Well, are you not playing? Yeah. Not yet. Oh, seriously. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm waiting on this bit. <laughs> Two. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> it works. I think it's going to work. No great. Great. Okay, Thank you it. very much. <laughs> That's great. It's a good concept. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I like it. Thanks, Anton. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. No time. Johnny. Cool. Chris, thanks. Scene. Neuf. Eight. Seven. Six. Cinq. Four. Three. Two. two one. one.